Hello and welcome back to the channel. Today we are starting off with something a little bit different. This is something I've already built. This is an original genuine Lego Porsche model which I have built off camera. The reason I've built this off camera is because I've got a fake one to build on camera. So we can get a good comparison of the two, of a fairly large uh, Technic set uh, and how it compares with, with being built uh, with a fake model. These are very well known as being so, so cheap to buy on online uh, fake. They are literally 10 to 15 pounds to buy for a set that is, is near 2,000 pieces, which is just unbelievable value considering this retailed for pretty much £180 in the UK when new. Obviously you can get them on deals now. This I actually picked up second hand as part of a bulk job lot that I, I bought. So this owes me only about £25 to £30. Um, so yeah, good little comparison test. But uh, yeah, let's, let's see how it built. Uh, as part of all this big bag here, got manual which is good size obviously genuine ones are larger and you have bigger images and you've got all the stickers which look all to be correct and i've tried to marry them up with ones that are actually on the original and yeah they all look fairly good and exact same replicas so yeah should be an interesting one this i'm not expecting too much of a difference um this went together fairly similar to how the other Technic sets I've built have been. You know, it, it still hurts your fingers and, and some of the joints and everything like that. So it's not as if um, one was significantly better than the other that could warrant the, the change in price. Uh, I would say things like the mechanics of it did operate a bit smoother. So I'm intrigued to see how this one differs to to what i've noticed on that so yeah let's uh let's get into the build um i won't bother opening all that now i think you've seen enough just clear plastic bags with bricks hopefully they're all numbered and uh yeah let's let's crack on with the build of this one see you soon
that was, I must admit. Building two of them in succession, yeah, it gets a bit uh, a bit tedious doing that. But uh, yeah, here we go. Well, the real thing is, is spot the difference. They do look very, very similar. You may or may not spot a couple little differences, uh, of which I shall point out a few. Um, so first of all, which do you think is real, which is fake? It's very difficult to tell, isn't it? Very, very. Well, I can tell you that the one on the left is genuine. That's all real Lego. And the one on the right is the fake. The big telltale tell sign just looking at them is the headlights, first of all. So this is really perfectly clear. Perfectly clear headlight. I hate the shape of these. It does not really look like how Porsche lights are. They're too bubble-like. But yeah, there we go. So that is completely clear here. These are really murky. It's like on a real car headlight where they, after about 10 years, go a bit faded and they need a real good buff and polish up. Um, notice that straight out of the box straight away. So yeah, that's the telltale sign there. Stickers are almost identical. The only one I've noticed different is this one on the bonnet where it looks like some sort of exhaust or, or pipe that's coming out um, looks like that but on the fake one it does look remarkably different but everything else is almost the same you see the the little stick up above is like an e and a sort of a symbol underneath but this one is the letter n both have the correct sort of spellings of everything um, But yeah, it's weird how this one has the funny symbol this side, it looks more like an M, but on this side is the N, which is exactly the same as like the real Lego one. So yeah, only piece I would say looks different is this traditional sort of gear levery bit. Oh, let's see how fragile they all are. On the real Lego, let's see the roof does cave in a little bit. This looks a little bit stronger actually, but this can actually move in all directions. So I actually prefer that design. Um, other little piece I found different, the tailpipe on my Porsche is white in real Lego, whilst on the fake it was silver which is probably better realistically. Um, but yeah, very little difference there. Tail lid, identical. Main difference is the mechanics. So, my model here for the fake one. Now the steering is not brilliant. Steering wheel pops off way, way too easy. Um, probably a two hand job putting that back on now awkwardly and I'm holding the camera. Um, but yeah, the steering does move, but it's, it's not the easiest to do. If I go over to the Lego one, let's move that out of the way, run out of space here with these two large sets and the steering is absolutely perfect. So, yeah, the steering works really, really well. Um, and I, I think that's just you know different friction on parts and stuff like that. I noticed during, even during the build that the uh, mechanics of the steering weren't as as easy to move. Both doors open pretty much the same so you see even on the real lego one it doesn't want to shut properly and that's exactly the same on here so no difference in the parts there um and the other final thing that i would say that differ is in the actual parts themselves now although they look pretty much identical Technic just seems to feel different in the sense that the pins, the pins 
particularly the double pins. The black double pins were really, really, you can see how red my finger has got from pushing them all in. I feel that a bit on the Lego, but nowhere near as much. And when it comes to like blue pins or anything like that, absolutely fine. But particularly the black double length pin was a real nightmare to try and get in. It's, it's like the plastic is stronger um, and, and doesn't have so much flex, so the pins don't sort of bend to uh, allow them to go in so well. So, yeah, and that, that's what you get for your money. You, you find that paying a lot less money, you will find a bit more pain in, fit, in building these Technic sets. Um, in my eyes, Yes, I bought this second hand and it was very, very cheap, almost as cheap as a brand new fake one. But this brand new retail price in the UK currently on Lego store is £170. A um, little bit cheaper, I think, on Amazon at the moment. And it is retiring this year. This, I don't know how they do it, but to get that between £10 and £15 built, to look <laughs> exactly the same I'm sorry but for the sake of having some sore fingers I'd go with that these aren't the sort of models that you play with so the playability of it and things come off like the steering wheel I could live with that because it's going to just live and stay on a shelf it's there to, to see its beauty the build side of it other than a few pins that are a bit tougher. Yeah, I could live with that for the price difference. You know, had it been, you know, 20% different, 25, 30% different, yeah, you could justify that. But for the the difference in price is is just unreal. Um and it's it seems to be the Technic sets, which is where the sort of big difference in price becomes. You only have to look at the like the P1 I've built, that's now down to £50, £60 pounds, um, to purchase uh, compared to over 300 for that brand new in, in the Lego version. So, yeah, it's, it's justifying it. You know, if these companies can sell this model at £15 pounds and still make a profit out of it, wow, the margins that are in these products is just unreal. And... That saving should be passed over to us, really. I mean, yeah, I'm, you know, I'm sure the, the the licensing obviously has a cost element to it, but um, yeah, you know, even these non-fake sets are still substantially cheaper than Legos, so we are just paying a lot for the brand. That's purely it. So, yeah, as long as these are still getting built, I'm happy to still be buying. But equally, I do buy Lego sets. I do buy other branded sets. You know, I love the build process. That's what the, where the enjoyment is for me. I don't really care where it comes from. What are your thoughts? What are your thoughts? For 10, 15 pounds? Would you buy that? I did. Coming up next on the channel, I will be doing next week uh, another poll for a small build uh, for the Monday build this uh, this coming week. And following on from that, I have got another fake big set that I don't I, I've not seen anyone else on YouTube build yet. Um, so I'll leave that as a little surprise so you can uh, keep following and see where that will be but it's another large Lego Technic set that is a fake version so yeah I should get that up hopefully in about a week's time it is a larger set than this so yeah there's your there's your clue put down in the description um, yeah message below what you feel that build will be but uh, yeah, hope you enjoyed this build, guys. But there we go. Quick.
quick comparison of both Lego and a fake set. See you on the next build. Thank you.